Hello and welcome to this presentation of the Uniform Plumbing Code. My name is Thomas, also known as Plumber Tom. And in this presentation, I'm going to take you through some basic tips on how to study the Uniform Plumbing Code, as well as introduce you to the code itself. Now, the first question that I have for you as we start this out is, do you have a copy of the book? A physical copy. If you're taking a state test, if you're preparing or trying to understand this code better, you need to have a physical copy of this book. And I will tell you why as we look at some of the study tips that I'm about to give you. But if you don't have one already, make sure that you get one. Check in the description below for a link where you can find a copy of this book for yourself. Stay tuned because later in this video, I'm going to show you how you can also access the free version of the code online. If you don't already have a physical copy, this is a great way to get started, to get to know or even study the text. But as I will say over and over, you need a physical copy. Study tip number one for studying the Uniform Plumbing Code. Buy a version of the book that has the tabs. And I think most of them come with tabs, but check it out. The tabs are stuck into the pages at specific places throughout the book that help you to quickly identify where that information is within the book. That can really speed things up when you're looking for information on a state test. I'll point out that usually on a state test, you can't bring a computer in. You're not supposed to use your cell phone. So if you're relying on the online free version of the code, then you're not going to be able to use the code during your test. Most states will allow you to bring a physical copy in with you, which is why you want one and why you also should put tabs in it. Study tip number two for the Uniform Plumbing Code is to actually read it. And it's kind of funny that I even have to say that, but in our day where so many things come in your face in fast, flashy action, and where people send messages to each other with short abbreviations of words and don't even type out the whole word anymore. We are a people who have a hard time actually reading something. Now I'm generalizing, but think about it. When was the last time you sat down and really just read a whole book? It's less and less common. We find other ways to entertain ourselves. However, if you want to know this and the information in this book, then it is going to be essential that you actually read it. Like open the book, read everything from cover to cover. That can be really difficult because unlike a novel, which you can read and might be fun to read, the language in a code book is written by lawyers and engineers, and they might involve some plumbers, but especially lawyers who don't really speak common language when they write something. And the reason for that is they're trying to minimize any liabilities. So they write a lot of wordy paragraphs, which are sometimes difficult to understand. Now I'm committing to you that I will present videos for you that will help you to understand, but that doesn't take away from you the need to actually read the book. Okay. Tip number three for studying the uniform plumbing code, and that is to highlight and mark it. When you highlight what you're reading in this book, it does several things for you. One, it helps you easily find that information again later. But the second thing that it does for you, which I think is probably more important, is that it helps solidify that portion of the code in your memory. Here's what happens. As you're looking at it, reading it, your mind is taking a picture of that page. Some people have photographic memories, which would be great if you're trying to remember things like the code. But for me, I don't remember things photographically, but my mind stores things in images. And if I have looked at a page, marked the page on certain information, my mind is storing that. And it's not uncommon for me to think, Oh, where was that? Yeah, it was on this side of the page in that chapter and I can get there a lot faster. Now, let me try and show you my book. If you look at what I've got in there, I will highlight, underline, circle things. What else do I do? The information that I'm looking for 
that I'm focusing on are keywords and numbers. Numbers like pressures or lengths or pipe sizes. Those sorts of things are likely to be asked of me when I take an important state test. So I make those a focus. In any case, the more that I mark this up, the more that I note where things are on the page, the easier it will be for me to remember later. One caution though, when you're marking a book is to avoid writing too much into the book. Some states will disqualify the use of a book if it has too much writing in it or any inserts. So don't leave extra sheets or pages in there. You want straight code book with your highlighted markings. <laughs> Tip number four, if you're studying the Uniform Plumbing Code, is to use a study guide. Guess what? I have several excellent study guides for you that I wrote myself. I've teamed up with a publisher. I have a version of this for the 2021 Uniform Plumbing Code. This book takes you chapter by chapter through the book with study questions on each chapter. In the end, there are several full tests that will take you through the whole book. This book also covers math and safety. In the end of the book, there are several 120 question tests that will take you all over the book. And in the very back of the book, you have all of the answer keys to help you know what the answers should be, along with code references so that if you didn't know what the answer was, you can look it up and find out what it was. I have just published another book, which is for the 2024 Uniform Plumbing Code, and it is the same sort of thing with quiz questions for every chapter, several large full tests and all the answers in the back of the book. You can look in the description of this video for links to each of these books, whichever study guide you would like to use. In addition to the study guides that I have, I also have some online tests that you could take if you wanted to go through an online version of a test, I've got that for you. You can find links to those resources also in the description of this video. Now, I know this sounds a lot like a sales pitch, and to some degree, it kind of is. But guess what? I'm going to give you a lot of free content here on my YouTube channel. But when you buy one of my books or take one of my practice tests online, you help support me so that I can create more content for you. It's a great relationship. All right, as promised, I'm gonna take and show you how you can access the free version of the code if you want to look this up online. This may be convenient for you anytime you're out in the field working and you wanna look something up but you didn't have your book with you, hey, just look it up online. It's also a good way to get started if you don't have your book. If I do a Google search here, I'm just gonna type in Uniform Plumbing Code and I'll have to go to IAPMO's official site. Once I'm on their site, I'll need to go to Services and Codes and Standards. When I click on Codes and Standards, it shows me the code, and I have this option to read IAPMO codes online. When I click on that, it brings me to Read IAPMO Codes, and it gives me the list of codes that I can access here online. I'm going to look at the 2021 version of the Uniform Plumbing Code, and I'll click on Read Online Version. As I read that, it brings up a whole version of the book that I can flip through page by page. Because this is copyrighted information, you see stamped right in the middle of the page, on every page, that this is a read-only version. You're not going to have the option to copy it or download it. But let's look at what is in the Uniform Plumbing Code. Now there's a page that has a whole list of the chapters and the subjects that are contained within those chapters. Then you have some pages with those subjects and a brief description of what is contained in each of those chapters. Down in the left-hand corner, you can also zoom in on the book, which might help us with reading a little bit. And then it gives me the option to zoom in even more as needed. So let's have a quick look at what is in here. Chapter one is administration. This is where they kind of tell how the code is administered, 
Uh, it talks about the code official, that's the inspector, gives all the rules of the game. Chapter two is definitions. Now they put the chapter with definitions in the front of the book so that you can learn the words that you need to know for the rest of the book. Keep in mind that any of the words that are in that chapter will be italicized throughout the book, so that if you don't know a word, you can go back to definitions in chapter two and find out exactly what that is talking about. Chapter three is general regulations. Chapter four talks about plumbing fixtures, fixture fittings. Chapter five is about water heaters. This includes information about gas lines and combustion air and venting for water heaters. Chapter six goes over water supply and distribution. Chapter seven is about sanitary drainage. Chapter eight is indirect wastes. Chapter nine, vents. Chapter 10, traps and interceptors. Chapter 11, storm drainage. Chapter 12, gas piping. Chapter 13 is about healthcare facilities, medical gas and medical vacuum systems. Chapter 14, fire protection. Chapter 15, alternate water source, non-potable applications. Chapter 16, non-potable rainwater catchment systems. Chapter 17, reference standards. From there, you have a series of appendices with other information. So now you know a little more about the Uniform Plumbing Code and some of the things that you can do so that you can study, learn, and know this code well enough to pass a state test. I would be glad to help you to get to that point. Please consider using the resources that I have for you. Please continue watching, like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.